My research has focused on infotoxification or disinformation and its impact on journalism and journalists. We are all drowning in a tsunami of propaganda, sensationalism, outright lies and conspiracy theories. How is all of this affecting the credibility of journalism itself? And what can journalists do about it, if anything? The biggest challenge is that this tsunami is driven by a profit motive. Bad journalism has always been a good business, and the problem is that good journalism has become a bad business. Quality journalism, or journalism whose goal is public service, is being squeezed out of the media ecosystem. And this has some negative implications, not just for the industry, but for society as a whole. For example, the Brexit campaign in Great Britain fed off of viral means of uh, all kinds of disinformation. We've seen viral campaigns of hate speech that have led to violence against minority groups in Myanmar and Sri Lanka, among other places. Part of the problem with combating misinformation is that it's hard to define legally. Also, the biggest platforms responsible for spreading the most disinformation, Google and Facebook, have been making too much money from the misinformation to be very much motivated to stop it. So what are the solutions? Well, there's some for-profit enterprises that are using big data and algorithms to identify quality work and give it ratings of trustworthiness. The most encouraging trend to emerge in response to infotoxification has been the growth of new partnerships that cross borders and bring together all the interested parties, the news organizations, civil society, politicians, regulators, academia, and private philanthropy, among others. So these emerging networks are adding partners all the time. And while at the moment the bad guys are beating the good, good guys, if you will, the good guys are starting to catch up.